Hey guys, back for another ASMR style video. I haven't been available much lately because of uh, work. Baseball and softball is a busy business this time of year. Plus, it tends to wear on my voice, which makes doing videos kind of hard. But um, it's been a short week, and I'm feeling locally pretty strong, so we'll uh, give this a shot now. I've been talking about doing a video like this for a while, and if you follow a video game mastermind by the name of Finn Gamer, you have seen this style of video before. He calls them Tales from the Manual. Uh, I'm just going to call it a manual reading, but um, what I'll do is I'll read the prologue for Castlevania Symphony of the Night in just a moment, and I'll be doing more games like this, but... I want to start off by saying, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but video games back in the day were better than they are today. And that's not because I'm a hipster or I'm all into vintage and retro. Um, I love my PlayStation 3 and my Wii U, but you know what they don't have? They don't have these. These are manuals that tell you how to play the game. This, that's a plastic case with a disc. The disc has... Uh, the case has art. You know, there's there's some great things here that we don't get with modern games, and I I love those. And um, one of the things that I like the most is actually reading through the manuals. I mean, this is a 26-page manual that explains a whole lot about how Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, one of the greatest games um, of the generation, how it works. So, uh We'll do a reading, not the whole thing, like I said, just the prologue, but there's a lot of information in this manual if you've never played the game. <clears throat> it was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter, who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shaft. However, one night, four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, Powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, the very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious.